it going everybody you're watching then about tech and today i'm going to show you how to transfer all your data and files from your android phone to your new iphone so you probably have an android and you just bought a new iphone so in this video i'm going to teach you how you can transfer all your stuff so your photos videos messages even apps that are compatible you'll be able to transfer on this process on top of that settings contacts calendar your gmail stuff and even whatsapp so it's a complete transfer from everything you have on your android phone to your iphone it's free made by apple and super simple let me show you step by step okay so the first thing you have to do is actually make sure that your iphone is actually erased it's actually on that first hello screen that setup screen just like when you get your iphone brand new so if that's your case and you just bought your iphone brand new out of the box and it's on the hello screen great you don't have to do this first step but if your iphone is actually like mine it's running it's working like that we're gonna actually make sure to erase this iphone otherwise the process won't work so in order to erase your iphone go to your settings scroll down tap on general and then scroll down once again until you see transfer or reset iphone as you can see right there and then at the bottom erase all content and settings as you can see that very last option and right here we're gonna actually erase the iPhone so please keep in mind that with this process we're gonna actually delete everything so if you have any important stuff right here on this iPhone make sure to back up and transfer to any other device or to iCloud make sure to do that because what's right here inside this iPhone will be erased in order for us to actually transfer from the Android to it right you gotta make sure that this is understood this is very important okay so make sure to manage your information save it back it up as I mentioned and then we can go ahead and continue as you guys can see right here it's gonna ask for the passcode for this iPhone so type it in that's the lock screen passcode and so if you have it it's gonna ask for a screen time passcode as well so type in your screen time passcode and then as you guys can see you're probably gonna see something like that if you have a backup enabled through iCloud so if you want to you can wait for everything to be synced up to iCloud if not if you have already saved everything you can skip this backup right here and then you're gonna actually need to type in the Apple ID password and we're gonna do that to completely clear find my and activation lock this is necessary okay so type in your Apple ID password and then tap on turn off at the top right hand corner so let's wait and then our iPhone will be 100% ready to be erased and then we can actually begin the process itself as you can see here it's gonna ask for a confirmation you can tap on erase iPhone and then it's gonna erase it it's super fast it's, it just takes a couple minutes I'll be back when that's done and so as you can see we've got the hello screen right here on the iPhone meaning that we're 100% ready to actually start the process of moving our stuff okay so the first step is to actually make sure both devices are plugged into the charger so they have to be charging throughout the whole process so make sure to go ahead here plug in the Android phone it's charging as you can see plug in the iPhone as well it's also charging right there so then we're good to go then make sure your Android phone is actually connected to Wi-Fi and also make sure your new iPhone has enough storage for the amount of data right here on your Android phone that you're gonna transfer because otherwise it just won't work you need to make sure your iPhone has enough storage to take all of the data files and everything as I said okay so all you have to do now is get your iPhone once again okay so bring up your iPhone and then we're gonna need to make sure to take it to a specific screen that's why it needs to be right here on the hello screen because we're actually gonna need to tap here on your language and then country and move on as you can see set up manually you're gonna need to connect to Wi-Fi as well so you can connect to the same Wi-Fi network that you're connecting your Android phone tap on join let it connect let it do its thing now you see the screen saying it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone wait for that to happen 
then tap on continue and then face ID you can set up later or if you want to you can set up straight away create your passcode we're gonna create one for one two three four five six of course I don't recommend that okay but it's just easier for us so go ahead and continue right here and this is a screen that we want with this we can start the process of transferring because what we want is to tap on this option move data from Android so tap on that option as you can see we're gonna use move from Android we're gonna use move to iOS so all you have to do here is actually and this is a quick tip tap here on this QR code as you can see and then you can use this QR code right here to actually read from your Android phone and get moved to iOS very easily. So open up your camera, then point to the QR code and tap on view in Play Store, as you can see right there. And very easily, we can go ahead and install Move to iOS, which is made by Apple. As I said, this is the official process on how to transfer your data. So that's why I do recommend it, okay? Then tap here on open, as you can see, agree on the terms, continue, agree once again you can choose to automatically send or not app usage and then right here location required continue once again and then you can tap on only this time no problem and now find your code continue because right here we're gonna get a code from the iphone in order for them to pair okay this code is super easy to find you're going to go ahead here get the iphone and then tap on our code that we created right and then done and then continue once again and it's going to automatically generate the code as you can see right here so let's go ahead whoops <laughs> and type it in here on the android phone so type it in this is a one-time code only okay guys and then as you can see there's they're together as you can see right there it got here waiting for Samsung. So as you can see, they're syncing right there. They have seen each other and the app is already working. So right here, you can see the amount of stuff you can transfer. So as I said, messages, contacts, calendar, Google account, uh, photo library, display settings, accessibility, absolutely everything that I have on this phone. I don't have a large amount of data, just a few stuff, okay? So on your Android phone, you probably see much more options right here, including WhatsApp. I don't have WhatsApp on this phone, but you'll see WhatsApp right there as well. So you can go ahead and uh, just tap on allow right there, allow, and then you can go ahead and manually allow everything here to be transferred. So as you can see, you have to manually allow every single thing every single thing that you want, of course. And you can also manually add files as well. So if you have files here on your Android phone, so other types of files, PDF documents and stuff like that, you can tap here on add files and you can manually add them as well, okay? So let's go ahead and continue, tap here and continue. And now it's moving just like that. Time remaining, it's gonna estimate. And as you can see, it's saying transfer complete here on my Android phone and transfer complete here on my iPhone. As I said, I don't have a lot of data on this phone right here uh, since this is a demonstration video, okay? So tap on done, transfer is complete. I don't need the Android phone anymore. I'm gonna get my iPhone right here and then continue. And then I'm gonna normally set up my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead here, type in my Apple ID, finish, set up this iPhone, and then of course I'm gonna show you that the information I have on this Android phone is on this iPhone. I'm gonna be back in a second. And so in just a few minutes, we're good to go. Let's have a look and let's see if all is here. So starting with our calendar, which I already see that's right here. So let's take a look at this. So as you can see right here, I have, uh, see by week, I have a few appointments, as you can see right there, and right here as well, meetings and all. So as you guys can see, those appointments were actually right here on my calendar, right there, as you can see, all of the appointments, the same appointments right here on the iPhone. And of course, same goes for, let's say, if I see my photos. So, allow and okay. And let's take a look. We have a few photos right there, seven photos actually, uh, including two videos. Let's see if it's the same. So if you get here in my gallery, as you can see, 
exactly the same. So um, as you can see, everything that I checked while transferring, while doing the process is right here. Contacts will be the same thing. So if you go ahead here, open up the contacts, same thing right here, just have those uh, maybe seven contacts. If you open up right here, you see it's exactly the same guys. The exact same contacts right there, those ones right here. So perfect, works absolutely great. And that's how you transfer all your stuff from your Android phone to your iPhone, the easy, correct way for free. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one as usual guys. Bye-bye.